Hello, I'm Chris Droin. I'm an application engineer at TriMac. Uh, for my New Year's resolution, I'm going to try and be a little neater around the house. And I think uh, one of the ways I'm going to do that is try and be a little neater at work as well. So with that in mind, uh, what I'm going to go through today is tidying up your whole wizard um, and how to add custom whole wizard options. So you can see here we have just a normal part. If we open up the whole wizard, it's this huge list of standards here. Uh, that most of you probably don't use. You might be wondering how we can get rid of those. So let's get into that. First, we'll go up to Options, Whole Wizard Toolbox, and then Configure. And you get a little setup screen here. Um, we're going to click on Whole Wizard. This is going to bring you to um, all of the different standards that were listed in that drop down menu. Um, so for us, what we're going to do right now is just start unchecking the ones we're not going to use. And as we uncheck them, they will be removed. As we uncheck them, they will be removed from the drop down list. So we'll just keep a few in here. And now to create um, your own um, taps that you might be using, um, certain thread sizing, the simple way to do this is to select uh, whatever it's closest to, NCNs, NC metric, um, things like that. And you just click right here, this copy standard button. It's going to ask you for the new standard name. Um, so pick your, your workplace or anything you like. Um, and then check OK. And that does take a while to create a new one, so I won't bore you through that one. What I did was just that exact workflow, and I chose TriMac. So as we see what was copied here in the whole wizard, um, these are all the different types of holes. So for instance, if all we're looking to add in are tapped holes, we can uncheck all the countersinks and straight holes. Look in tapped holes. We don't want bottoming or straight pipe. We just want regular tapped holes. And now we get to an area where you can add in your own tap holes. If you have uh, many tap holes, this is the option here to export the whole data tables and import. You can export this out, uh, open it up in Excel, and add in all your information. Um, you can do the same thing with the thread data. But if you only have one or two that you're going to add, it's easier just to hit this plus button here to add a new size ask you for size, pitch, diameter, and a name to match. We'll close that. And then for thread data, it's going to be the same type of thing. So that is where you add custom holes into your hole wizard. So close this and save the changes. go back in the whole wizard we'll see that only the three that were or the four that were that were left are in the drop down menu so that's just trimac ansi antisymmetric and iso um, this is a great way to if you have a mixture of different things in your shop you can just have a shop level um, standard and you can mix in IC inch isometric iso whatever you want all of the fasteners that you use in your shop you can put them all in one folder instead of having to bounce back and forth between all these different standards. So it's a great way to tidy up your shop and tidy up your workflow. Thanks for watching.